single frequency UV light had been used for 40 years, they did come across uh, a method of creating a multi-frequency, which is two different frequencies of electricity, to create two different wavelengths of UV light. And in doing so, they came up with what could be called a close to a laser strength UV source. And a hydroxyl molecule, which is a negative OH molecule, is naturally formed outdoors with sunlight and humidity levels. And a hydroxyl molecule is very reactive. And when it reacts, reacts with another molecule, it will break apart that molecule and create another hydroxyl. And so what they did is they put it into a small unit that uh, draws in ambient air or room air. And whether it's dirty air or clean air, what they're really doing is just using the humidity levels in that air. And it passes by a refractory chamber where the UV light lamps are. And when, when the ambient air goes through there, what happens is that high strength UV light breaks apart the H2O molecule, which is the humidity. And it breaks that into HOH. And H is a hydrogen molecule which just dissipates. You can't collect it. And they're left with a negative OH or the hydroxyl molecule. And then that molecule is blown out into the ambient air or room air or confined space and does the same thing that it does outdoors. When it reacts with a, an irritant or a toxin, it creates another molecule. So it becomes very effective in that it, it starts a cascade effect and gets 100% of the air. So the revolutionary part of this is that um, nothing has to go through the machine to be cleaned. So this allows the molecule to be pushed into the air and, and do its job without the air going through the machine. So now that we've been able to bring this molecule indoors, we can create a healthy living environment.